Hi you guys, it's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here. Today I'm going to be sharing some pieces with you all that I recently picked up from various different secondhand sites. I have a couple new pieces to share, but most of the pieces are vintage or thrifted in some way, but all online. Shopping secondhand is such an incredible way to find really unique pieces at a more affordable price. Most of the pieces in my home are secondhand. Almost everything in my wardrobe is secondhand if I didn't design it for my own brand and it's just my favorite way to shop. But before we get into it, I want to thank the sponsor of this video who is a longtime partner on my channel, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. It's a great place to explore new skills or deepen existing passions. I usually take classes that are more business focused on the platform, classes that I view as more productive, but I'm currently taking a more fun one, which I think will still have some practical payoff in my life for me and it's called indoor gardening grow house plants veggies and herbs and it's by Ekta Chathari. there are seriously so many classes on the platform whether you're interested in graphic design or illustration or business or gardening like the class i'm currently taking there's really something for everyone and what's really great about skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so there's always something new to try out. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description box down below will get a one month free trial to Skillshare Premium so you can start exploring your creativity today. And thanks again to Skillshare for working with me on this video. So I have some pieces from The Real Real to share with you guys. First, I shop on The Real Real all the time, whether it's shopping or just browsing. I'm honestly browsing on there way too much. A lot of the pieces are hard to find, more unique, and they can move really quickly. Also, are you getting into my clothes? Are you getting into my clothes? Boo -boo. The first piece I have to share with you guys is a new bag. This is a YSL bag that I honestly hadn't seen before until I saw it on the real reel. I think it's like early 2000s era YSL, maybe a little bit earlier, but I thought it was really cool, a bit more fun than some of the other bags that I have that are quite simple. And honestly, a really good size too. I can fit like a book and water bottle and all of my essentials for the city in here really easily. It's a black leather and antique silver bag, just a shoulder strap, and it has this metal and seemingly plastic tusk on the front, which is what really drew my eye to the bag because I don't really have anything like this. Definitely goth vibes, and if I can find anything similar, I'll link for you guys down below. I think almost everything that I'm sharing with you guys today is black as usual. I feel like that's kind of the go-to for secondhand pieces a lot of the time because black pieces often don't show age as much. I believe that bag was less than $200 with a sale that the Real Real had going on, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then I got two pieces from a designer who no longer makes clothes. A lot of her stuff does show up on the Real Real for really affordable prices. I believe one of these pieces was like $20. She's a Belgian designer called Veronique Bronchino. I have a few pieces in my wardrobe already. Definitely like a dark, witchy, grandma chic vibe, which I really like. I like her pieces because they still make me feel quite feminine, but myself. So the first is a blouse that has this really beautiful, simple back detail. It's a lower back with a strap across it, and it's just a long sleeve top. It's a layered chiffon that's a bit more of a slim fit, and I think it's going to be so perfect for fall with a skirt and tights and some cool boots. I can't wait, and like I said, I think this was like $20. So definitely comparable to fast fashion prices. Cheaper than Zara, I would say. And then this is one of my favorite pieces. It is this slightly destroyed tweed black coat. These amazing, almost 3D patch pockets and antique silver hardware. I just think it's a way cooler version of like a Chanel tweed jacket and again it's gonna be so nice for fall. So that's all from the real real. This next piece is a piece that I got custom made. Unfortunately I'm having some issues with it but I still wanted to share it with you guys because I know this brand is becoming really popular and they've been so sweet throughout the entire process. 
It's called R&M Leathers. You've probably seen their corsets and pieces featured either on celebrities or in editorial. They make a lot of cool stuff and most of it is custom made. So I actually ordered a different piece from them four or five months ago at this point and it came and it just didn't fit my chest but they did offer to exchange it for me for something else which was so nice because like I said these are custom made pieces and I ended up getting a different piece this one is a bit more full coverage it's originally made with a zip up the back but I got a custom lace up back so it can better fit my body i wasn't being the most gentle when i was trying this on and the corset tie broke unfortunately so i don't have that to share with you guys but i'm gonna get a replacement and then i will definitely be wearing this for some nights out with a really cool look but i wanted to share just because my experience has been so nice with them and i'll have their website linked down below if you guys are interested they have a lot of cool more intricate pieces than this one but I wanted something a little bit more simple. And then I have some home pieces. I recently purchased this smoked glass ashtray that I found on Depop. I was actually looking at a lot of different ashtrays on the Real Real. I really like their home section. It's so well curated. I found one similar to this on the Real Real, but I figured I should look on Depop because I've gotten a lot of random little home trinkets on Depop. I find that to be a really great place to look. Sometimes shipping can get a bit expensive, but I think I paid about $30 for this, and the other one I was looking at was like $150. It's a super heavyweight, curved, kind of mid-century-esque ashtray in a smoked glass. I was super into the idea of it because I have a smoked glass coffee table already, which, let me tell you, is the biggest pain to keep up with, which I knew that when I was buying it, I just have to clean it, like, every day. But I thought this was really cool because it almost looks like it's a part of the coffee table because it blends in so well. And I love smoked glass. It's such vibe. Smoked glass or amber glass is a favorite of mine. So I'm super excited that I found that. And then I got some new lamps and lights. I slightly impulsively bought this 1980s Colombo desk lamp that I found on Cherish primarily because I already have a floor lamp from the same collection that I love so much. I don't currently have the setup that's the best for it. It's a task lamp. It's pretty massive. They also have floor lamps that look like this. They're very like Star Wars robot-esque and I think they're so, so fun. So that was a really cool Cherish find. And then I also got these new pendant lights on Etsy. These are actually newer custom-made lights and the experience was really easy and they actually weren't very expensive at all. So I will definitely link the seller down below for you guys. But these are currently in our hallway. I never really show this area of the apartment just because there's nothing you can really do with it. It's an area that I like, but I hate. We have a bit of a railroad style apartment, which is very common to New York. It's not technically railroad because you don't walk through the rooms, but it's a similar idea. And previously I had these awful mismatched flush mounts that were in the space when I moved in and I just never changed because the hallway already felt very claustrophobic. It's not really a space that you hang out. But I've been wanting to swap them for some pendant lights. It makes this space so much prettier and it's what you see as soon as you walk into my apartment. So I'm super happy about that. Some work definitely still needs to be done. Um, you can see the ring around the ceiling where the old lights were. So I need to get some touch-up paint. The last piece I got is a coat rack for our space. I'm honestly not sure how you pronounce it. I will put it right here. It's kind of boring. I wouldn't normally share it, but I have a bit of a hack to share with you guys. So I wanted to share it. As you can see, we also need a major paint touch-up on this pipe. Very New York to have the chipping paint like that. So I ordered this coat rack in the color teak. I thought it would go super well with our space because we have a lot of vintage Danish teak pieces, but when it came, it was actually more of like a raw oak wood. So I oiled it, and within a few minutes, it matches the rest of our furniture, which is really amazing. And that is the hack I wanted to share with you guys. It is the Pledge Orange Wood Oil. If you have any Danish teak furniture in your home, you really need this. It has made such a difference to a lot of our pieces. I recently re-oiled our dining table, which had 
some different like rings for mugs on it without using a coaster and some scratch marks and it looks like a brand new table i also oiled one of our legs of the table which my dog chewed on when he was a puppy and now you can barely tell that he did that which is really incredible so i'll find that and link it down below for you guys because it will make your furniture look brand new if you have a lighter piece that you want to finish or just an older piece that needs a bit of TLC. It's much cheaper and less time consuming than fully refinishing. So I would give it a go first. Okay, those are my recent finds. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you have a nice week and I will see you super soon. Bye!